Hello and welcome to my new subscribers. I'm so chuffed that you've decided to join me and I hope that you'll stay a while and that you'll like the bits and bobs that I do. Today we're going to have a play in the smallish square mixed media journal um, that's fairly new but I've had quite a lot of fun doing these pages all quite different. Um, so today we'll have a go at these two pages. I'm going to use the AB Studios Crafters Bundle. Um, I got this from Paper, Pen and Plan. I think it's a great pack because if you can see it's all different images. There's pattern paper on the back of the images, but I do like the fact that I've got postcards and butterflies and old photographs, um, some steampunk vintage labels, and I spent a couple of hours in front of the telly cutting out all the bits and bobs. You see? All different sizes, butterflies and flowers, and there's the old vintage photographs, and there's the postcards. It's really good, and I've just decided to keep them in this handy little pouch. So, that's in the main what I'm going to use. For my background, I have chosen a few of the bits and we'll play around with them but first of all I wanted to use up I have the hugest bundle of brown paper bags they were bought for a reason a few years ago I think the supermarket didn't have any plastic sandwich bags and we decided to oh, we'll buy these be a wee bit greener and um, I don't know the amount that we've got and they're all tied together with the string and the amount we have will probably last us about 10 years. And I thought I'll nab some of them for my mixed media page. And this is what I did with two of them. I tore them and stitched round and inked round the edges. And I thought that that might be quite a good start to a background for this page. I've also got some paint. I've got some gold paint, um, some yellow and some pink, some yellow and some pink. And I've chosen them because oops, the things that I have are all quite muted and black and white, um, apart from this one butterfly here and sort of goldy colour so I was trying to find a colour that was this colour so that I could do the background to tone in with this butterfly but I didn't have any orange and this was the closest these two these three that I had so what I did was I got my palette and I've tried to mix up these three colours and come up with something that vaguely is like the butterfly. So fingers crossed that when I put it down it might, it just might, match this butterfly we'll have a go. Now, I'm not sure quite of the order of things. I know I'll be putting them on after the background, but I wasn't sure whether I wanted to paint the background and then stick these on or stick these on and then just paint the edges. I think I'm going to paint first. I still want my stitching to show up quite a lot so I think I'm going to paint first so I'm just going to put a little bit down 
in the middle here of this washi just to protect the middle because I'm at a bit of the book where the stitches are and I don't want it to come apart so we'll just do that first okay so let's see if we can make this a wee bit arty I've got a brush but I've also got my um, old Starbucks or Costa, oh no it's a Starbucks one, a um, gift card to, to scrape some paint on as well and we'll maybe see if we can give that a go as well. I don't want it to be on thick, I want it to be quite Um, what's the word? So that you can sort of see the edges disappearing into the side there. Yeah, maybe like that. Because what I have plans to do once the once what's I going to say? Once the paint's down. I'm going to stamp a little bit with some small butterfly stamps I think that might match this steampunky images that I have picked out. So. There's that butterfly till we see. Yeah. Yes, I think that works. I'll leave it there just now and we'll see how it looks with the I think that's looking alright. Okay. Yeah. Maybe move that in a wee bit so that I can see the edges. And we'll move this in a little bit. And before I stick that down, we'll give give it a go with where things might go. I gave that a little bit of stitching as well on the sewing machine just to um match the Stitching round. Now, how are we going to do this? Let's put this one go. Maybe put that in the middle there. That's quite steam, this fella. He's got a twinkle in his eye, I think. I don't know what he's thinking. He's probably thinking, why are you sitting me on a butterfly? We'll give him a top hat. Now will we put it at a jaunty angle, maybe? And we'll wig. Give him a bow tie, maybe give him two butterflies. Hmm. Yeah, I think that looks all right. And give that a go. Stick this down. And let's move the paint out of the way. Okay, there's an accident. And so let's stick these two sheets down. Now, which glue will we use to stick on top? I think we'll use this. This is a bit stronger. Yes, 
me and mine. Let's see how much is left. I think I need to open a new bottle soon. I'll give this a go. Bottle's nearly finished. I quite like the crinkly, crinkly feel. Of the um, let's do the slow one. Well, we've got the glue at the top of the bottle. Yes, it's a nice uh, crinkly sound. Hopefully this glue will do the trick. Let's put this down here. And we'll get this one. doesn't need to be dead straight well that's my excuse anyway when it's mixed media it's um it's all about the arty effect isn't it yeah now i'm thinking do i want to add a little bit of color or will we just go straight on to the pieces of colour maybe on the, the brown paper I think I maybe do so let's see if we can do this I think would be the best way to do this just along the edge hmm over here. Yeah. Okay, so let's go for this. I want that to be as close to the fold so that we can see the moon there. Let's glue another shot.
this chap. Oh no, it'll be the butterfly next, won't it? Well, we'll do the glue for him and we'll do the butterfly. I think it's time to open the new bottle. Trying to do that with my left hand so that I could hold the bottle upside down. <laughs> Let's put glue on the other two pieces for the other side while I've got the glue at the end. Now it doesn't want to let me go. There we are. So, this butterfly on here and this one, this big one, over here and this in the middle there. I think that's it finished I think now I said that I was going to stamp so I have this little stamp set here which is a prima stamp set I don't have the packaging anymore but um, I'm sure if you searched for prima um, you'll be able to find what it is and I think I'm going to pick out the butterflies and there's words as well there's find your balance take your time and find your balance might be quite nice There's another butterfly. What else have we got? Moons. Moons and stars. Planets. I think I'll stick with the butterflies and hope that they'll print on this. Um, now I'm going to need an acrylic block. I think we'll use the smaller one. Right, let's see where we're going to if we put that down there. And if we put that down there, we could have one. That one's maybe too big. One here and maybe one there. What do I think? Yes, let's go for that. So, we'll take, whoops, is that not going to stick? I don't want it falling off and on top of my, my work. Let's 
So, let's give it a go. Dive right in. Yeah. So, that one. And we'll do this one up here. And the little one. And I think we'll do another little one. Yeah. Let's get the words on. It's not straight. I'll use the lines on the that. Line it up with the lines on the stamp. So we want to take your time up there. And find your balance down the bottom. And line it up. Now I've got two little bits, but you know what? It just adds to the the grungy mixed media feel. That's what I'm going to say anyway. Um, I'm not sure if I want another butterfly here. I think I maybe do, but not the tiny one. Maybe, maybe that one. Grand. What do you think? It's an easy page. Quite pleased with how that's turned out using my paper bags. Let me show you again. Paper bags and these images from Crafters Bundle by AB Studio and I got these from Paper Pen and Plan and I'll link at the bottom of the video. So there we are. I hope you quite enjoyed watching that and let me know in the comments if you make anything similar or if you would like to share. That would be great. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.